We will start the meeting. Could you please take your seats? <coughs> Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, allow me. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, humanity is waging war on nature, and we need to rebuild our relationship with it. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka to introduce the pre-recorded statement. <coughs> Mr. President, I have the honor to introduce the recorded statement to the Summit on Biodiversity by His Excellency Gotabe Rajapaksa, President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. I thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Aibwa. I am deeply honored to represent the people of Sri Lanka at this high-level summit on biodiversity. The concepts of biodiversity must be at the very core of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. Despite the rapid decline seen in biodiversity globally, over the recent decades, Sri Lanka is deeply committed to uphold the overarching spirit of the Convention on Biodiversity. There is a critical need for a transformation and change in the relationship between nature and people and contemporary global environmental governance. Excellencies, distinguished delegates. As a member of the Commonwealth of Nations, Sri Lanka endorsed the Commonwealth Blue Charter in 2018. And as such, we will champion the Commonwealth Blue Charter Action Group on mangrove ecosystems and livelihoods. Further, the Colombo Declaration on Sustainable Nitrogen Management was adopted last year. We as world leaders must better manage nitrogen, ensuring the sustenance of humankind. Sri Lanka is home to two UNESCO natural heritage sites, the Central Highlands and the Singaraja Rainforest Reserve. We are also proud of our six sites recognized under the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands. Sri Lanka firmly stands committed to protect and sustainable manage these natural assets that contributes to our unique and rich biodiversity. We have been mindful of conserving ecosystems to the highest extent possible, even during the redesigning of cities and urban areas. The wetland parks that we have created in cities, especially in and around our capital, Sri Javadanapura Kote, are home to an array of plant and animal species, offering a mini rainforest experience within crowded cities. The ancient governance of Sri Lanka was built on the concept that the ruler is never the owner of the land. He is merely its caretaker on behalf of his countrymen and all living beings. This is the very principle that my government has adopted in our development agenda. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, as mere trustees of this planet and its resources, we must resolve to protect but is in our trust and pass it to future generations as best as we could. Thank you. I thank the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka for the statement just made. <clears throat>